Meet luxury custom home builder Jorge Ulibar. He builds million dollar homes and he's got secrets to share. Watch Trade Secrets by Jorge. Hello and welcome to another episode of Trade Secrets by Jorge for more affordable ideas to add luxury to your living space. Today, Red Via Tuscany, a 6,000 square foot residence designed and built by custom builder Jorge Ulibarri. Jorge, thanks for having us. You're welcome, Karen. I'm very excited to give you a tour of this residence. This home is like nothing I've built before. The homeowner has a green thumb and loves landscaping. So the whole house was designed around the beautiful gardens. Also, one thing that makes this home unique, it has a beautiful interior courtyard and the whole house wraps around it. Let me show you. Okay. The landscaping is so stunning with the Italian cypresses and the magnolias. Absolutely. I want to show you some of the architectural details that make this home very special and gives it that all-world feel. And again, it's all about adding strategic details. Yes, and it's very affordable. I feel like I'm walking through the streets of Florence. That's right. Karen, that's the look we were trying to achieve. What we have over here is cobblestone combined with old Chicago brick. And you see that the Chicago brick here is carried above. That's correct. This is the Porto Cocher, and what we have over here is a barrel ceiling with old Chicago bricks that complements from the driveway and gives you that European feel. And this, of course, leads into the interior courtyard. That's Help. correct. Let me show you. This home is so romantic. I love the wraparound balconies and how everything sort of focuses on the interior courtyard. Karen, we designed this house so every room had a view to the courtyard. And of course, from the balcony, the eye is drawn to this beautiful water feature. What we got here is a sunken fountain with some water jets, some river rock. We have some halogen lights that shine to the water at night. And we added some old Chicago brick to give it some character. I love the ambiance that this creates. And it ties in very nicely with the exterior of the home. It has a old Tuscan countryside feel. You can just imagine it being on an estate. How did you create this look? All right, well, let me start with pointing out the roof. We distressed the roof by adding some mortar and caps to give it that 100-year-old look. As you can see on the walls, we started by having a smooth stucco with a full painting mm -hmm. and give it an all-world look as well. Also, we added some wood elements like the garage doors, the tongue and groove ceilings, the corbels, the shutters, and that gives it warm and character. And this rustic charm is carried throughout the home, so let's go inside and see how you created the look. Let's go. Welcome to Via Tuscany. Well, the home certainly makes a grand entrance. Karen, what we got here is 24-foot ceilings with some all-world rustic beams, a raw iron chandelier, and a spiraling staircase. And this is a signature of all my homes. Well, the winding staircase is just beautiful. I can imagine some amazing photos being taken from this vantage point. That's correct. This is a travertine staircase with raw iron railings and a wood element all around the border. And I also I see a lot of wood, a lot of that warm feeling we saw on the outside is again here in the interior. Well, what the homeowner did, he upgraded to a stained wood package, which means that all the base, the crown, the doors, and the seals are wood stained. And I see a lot of those same wood architectural elements down the main hallway. That's correct. Let me show you. Okay. This is a great location where I can show you some of the wood elements that I talked to you about. We have the old world rustic beams complementing the French doors and the wood floors. The walls of this home are very authentic. The texture is very rustic, very rough. How did you achieve this? I'm glad you pointed that out. This was actually very simple. What we did is we added some sand to the paint and we hand painted all the walls. Now we get that feel of old world rustic concrete on the walls. Now here in the formal living room, the focal point is this stone fireplace and it looks like something straight from a Tuscan farmhouse. This is actually not stone, it's precast, which you get the same feel and look for half the price. Oh, 
As we were walking down the hallway, I noticed that the winery is in a very high profile area. That's correct. That is a great architectural feature, but it's also a very functional space. Well, we've seen the formal spaces of the home. Now, let's see where the cooking's done. Let's go. This kitchen looks like it belongs to some old European country home. One of the things I love about this kitchen is how we added the copper elements. We have copper sinks and we also have details on the range of copper. The homeowner did a great job adding some copper pots as well. And I see wall-to-wall -wall stonework in this kitchen. That's right. If you look at our countertops, we have travertine all the way from the countertops to the ceiling. We also have some travertine on the range hood as well. And this beautiful piece of granite on the kitchen island. It's a functional space. It can be an eat-in breakfast bar, a social gathering spot. And then above, we have the beams that you've carried throughout the home with your seamless design. One other thing that makes this kitchen unique is the fact that we have windows on both sides, which gives a lot of natural light and makes the room seem bigger. I can imagine how much the homeowner must enjoy this picture postcard view of her gardens right here as she's washing her dishes. So do you mind if we take a look outside? No, let's go. Okay. Karen, the first thing you're going to notice is we don't have a pool, which is very rare for Florida. The homeowner wanted an open backyard with beautiful gardens, winding paths that open up to the lake. Well, the back of the home has just as much curb appeal as the front of the home, and I imagine that's because it's such a highly visible lot. I mean, it opens up to the lake and the clubhouse. That is correct. If you look at the back of the house, the elevation has a lot of movement. We have a tower, we have some balconies, we have a fountain. And the lot is interesting, it's, it's pie-shaped. That is correct, it's pie-shaped, which means that the back is narrow and the front is wider. And that gave us room to do beautiful gardens on the front of the house. Well, congratulations. It is truly a unique design that transports us to another time and place. Thank you so much for inviting us on a tour today of Villa Tuscany. You're welcome. We wanted to show the viewers the elements that make this house special, and they're not very expensive. Thanks for watching. And as always, please visit our Facebook page with any questions and comments. And for information, go to our website, I'mYourBuilder.com. We'll see you next time.